Hi, I'm Liz with Liz's Crafts, and today I'm going to be bringing you a mosaic tray. So I picked up this $5 tray at the Dollar Tree, and they had white ones, um, brown ones, and the plain wood ones. So I picked up a white one. And I have these mosaic tiles and my glue gun here. Now the mosaic tiles, um, a friend of mine gave them to me. So I'm just taking hot glue and putting them on the back of the tiles and then adding them to the tray. And I'm putting some space in between them as I put them on. Now, if you want, you can do the whole tray by just laying them out and then gluing each of them on. Or you can do it like I'm doing it here, one at a time. I kind of did a little bit of both. I started out with doing them one at a time and then um, <clears throat> off camera, I, I laid all the rest of them out after I got about... Mm, Probably about a fourth of the way done. I laid them all out and then glued them down. So either way. Just kind of deciding as I go along where I'm going to put them. And we're not going to use grout on these. We're going to use the two-part resin now I started out with all these green tiles and I thought it would be enough to put on here but after I got it part way done I was like you know it's not enough so I added some blues some uh, peachy colored ones and some white ones so you'll see that once it's completed as far as the tiles laid down. And let me know if you've ever done something like this. This is my first little tile mosaic project. And let me know what you did. I think I'm going to put this tray in my bathroom between the sinks so we can put all of our stuff in it. And you can also do this with like, um, you know, broken plates and stuff like that. And you can put grout between them, but um, I'm using resin. And have you ever, um, you know, overlaid mosaics with a resin? And let me know how that turned out in the comments. So 
So I just continue to add the uh, little tiles down where I think they should go. Just want space in between them. So I pick one up and I try it, think it might fit. If it doesn't fit the way I want it to, I'll find another piece. Just keep going until I find the right piece. So I just left this in here to show you how I decide which piece goes where. Look, I found the right one. Yay. So I'm not going to make you watch me do the whole board. <laughs> Yay for that, right? Because it would take forever. Yeah, mosaics take a while. You know, putting these little bitty pieces in this, well, it's not a huge tray, but, you know, it seems like it takes forever. But I just wanted to show you how I put the pieces in and decide which piece goes where. Just filling in the blanks. Like I said, you can lay it all out first and then start gluing them down. Either way, glue as you go or um, lay them out and Glue them down one at a time. Like I said, I kind of did both. So these pieces are glass and I am using my Ryobi glue gun and it gets really hot. So I think you need to use the high temperature glue gun to get it to stick down and they do stick down very well, let me tell you. You get one in the wrong place and it's pretty hard to get it back up. And this video isn't very long. It's just a little over 30 minutes. But I wanted you all to see the process. And let me know if I've inspired you to do something like this. Maybe you have some of these glass pieces laying around and you didn't know what to do with them. But I specifically bought this tray to put these mosaics in, in the bottom of it. So, you know, for $5, and then, like I said, my friend gave me these pieces of glass, so I paid $5 with it, and whatever glue I use, of course, you do use quite a bit of glue, and then the resin was the two-part resin that we had used a few years back on some wood pieces, so I had that on hand, and I'll show you the process of that. and then some paint.
And if you like what you see here, please feel free to share my video with other people that you think might like to see it. And give me a thumbs up if you like it. And if you haven't already subscribed and uh, you want to see more of what I do, I do a lot of different stuff like paper crafts. I've started doing some of that. I've done some um, resin for jewelry. I've done um, dupes from Kirkland's and Hobby Lobby and Kohl's. So a lot of different stuff. If you like that, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. And if you'll give me a thumbs up, that just helps YouTube get my video out there to others, hopefully. And like I said, feel free to share it with anybody that you think might like something like this. So I'm just deciding, you know, which piece goes where. Putting some glue on it and laying it down. It's pretty easy, It is, but it is very time consuming. So if you have some free time and um, you have a tray or something and some mosaics and some hot glue and some epoxy or some resin then, or grout, you could use grout then uh, you might want to give this a try. Like I said, this was my first mosaic project. Since my friend gave me these tiles, I thought, you know what? Let's put them to good use. So like I said, I left this in here so you can see how to go about placing your pieces if you do them one at a time. Let me know, would you do this one at a time or would you lay them all out first and then glue them down? Because like I said, I did it both ways. I would probably suggest laying them all out and then gluing them on one at a time if you don't know if you have enough tiles. Which you can see this part here is just with the green. Later on I add some uh, other colors to it and you'll see that once the piece, once I have all the tiles in there. So I wouldn't, this one end is going to be in the greens and then I'll have the pinks and the stuff in the other kind of like halfway through. So if I delayed it all out at once, I would have seen that the green wasn't enough and I would have added the other stuff and mixed it in. But, you know, I kind of like the way it turned out. I guess it could have been a little bit better. So I'm just going to show you this one end here that I'm doing, that I'm working on. And then we'll go on to the resin. So just a few more pieces to lay down and then we'll go to the next part.
So that's how you lay it down one at a time and glue as you go. All right, now we're on to the resin. So it's the two-part resin, and you do want to wear gloves, and you do equal parts of part A and part B. So I'm pouring part A right now into a disposable cup. You do want to use disposable cups. So I just picked a line on the inside of the cup, and that's what I filled it to. Now this was an older, like I said, two-part resin that we had. This is part B. You want to move that cup aside and get a clean cup. And you want to pour the same amount of part B into the cup as you did part A. So equal parts. And this one was a, a little bit yellow, so I don't know if that was from age because I don't think it was yellow before, or at least not that dark yellow. But it still worked. It just did have a little yellow tint to it. it. Wasn't as clear as I would have liked it to be, but it was okay. So you're going to pour part B into part A. You want to make sure you get it all out since they're equal parts. And I'm just using a popsicle stick to get it out. And another thing that's disposable so you can just throw it all out when you're done. So you do notice that I have a mat underneath where I'm working. And then uh, you want to stir this for six minutes. So I'm just setting my timer on my uh, phone there for six minutes. And you want to stir slowly. If you stir too fast, you're going to get bubbles. And it's supposed to heat up, but uh, I guess since this was so old, it didn't heat up. Now, when we used it in the past, it did get pretty hot. I think it's supposed to get to like 90 degrees, but uh, this didn't heat up at all. And so I wasn't for sure if it was going to work or not, but here I just uh, sped up the video to 10 times. So, you know, I'm not going this fast at all. You want to go slow. Like I said, you're stirring for six minutes and you see me changing hands because your hands do get tired. You want to constantly stir it. You can see my uh, timer there on my phone working its way down. I just wanted to leave this in here so you can see you know, six minutes on my timer. And like I said, your hands do get tired, so switch hands every now and then. Stirring, stirring, stirring. That's what you're doing, you're stirring. Six minutes. And there we're back to regular time. That's how slow I'm going. Okay, now the alarm went off, so we did our six minutes. And now what you want to do is you want to get a clean cup. There was something in the bottom of that one, so we had to get that out. Here, I got a new cup. But okay, there's our new cup. And then you want to pour this into this. And it said in the instructions that you must do this. You must follow the instructions. So that's what I did. 
So you want to make sure you get it all out. So you're going to need three disposable cups large enough to hold the amount of resin you need. And then you're going to need a popsicle stick to uh, make sure you get them out of the cups. And then a timer, which if you have a phone, you have a timer. And gloves. Of course, you want gloves. And then put it all under a silicone mat, which I do have these mats listed in the description box. There's a link if you want to get yourself some. They come in handy. So here I am stirring at regular time for another six minutes. Now I've sped it up ten times because I didn't want you to sit there watching this for six minutes. But you can see on my timer there the minutes ticking down. And like I said, it's supposed to get up to 90 degrees, but um, it didn't get warm at all. So I was afraid it might not work. But we went ahead with it. When you're stirring, you want to make sure you get the bottom, the sides, everything. You want it all to mix up real good. Okay, there I've taken it back down to real time. We've done our six minutes. And now we can put it in our tray. So there's the tray completely finished and you'll see on the left hand side it's mostly the greens or it is the greens and then towards the middle on the other side I've added the other colors. So I'm just pouring the resin on top. Scraping it all out. Now this is supposed to be self-leveling resin, but uh, I kind of helped it along a little bit. You'll see that in a minute. And it does have a little smell to it, so you want to make sure that, you know, you have good ventilation. I have my, uh, it was a pretty day that day, so I had my door open. And uh, I have my fan going. So I'm just getting it to go into the corners and all around. And then when I left it to dry, I made sure it was on those mats and uh, it did leak a little bit. The box wasn't completely sealed, as you know, you know, from Dollar Tree items that um, they're not always made the best. So you do one and I'm just using my heat gun to get the little bubbles out. So once you put your heat on it, it'll pop those bubbles. And I was using it on the uh, lower setting. Okay. 
and you can see the reflection of my ring light there in the uh, resin I did get that for Christmas and I'll have to put the um, the link to that in my description box I totally forgot because I did get it from Amazon my husband got it for me and it holds uh, my camera on it and it, I like it a lot for uh, the filming of the videos So I did set this on a level surface. I put my mats down and um, let it dry for a day or two. And now I, it is dry and I have to touch up the paint on it. So I'm just using some masking tape and I'm going to put the masking tape on top of my uh, resin area because I don't want to get paint on it. The resin did leave a line around the top part of the tiles there around the sides. So I do want to touch that up with paint. And I'm just going to use one of those foam, round foam brushes to go around the whole thing, adding some um, white paint to it. It'll give it a little bit of texture and cover up any imperfections. So even though my resin didn't get up to the 90 degrees, um, it still worked fine. I was surprised because I thought it had to heat up, but it didn't, it didn't heat up at all. So just keep that in mind. Even though it doesn't heat up, it's still good. It still worked. Now the resin I have listed in my, um, the link in my description box is the resin for the jewelry. So it's just a tiny little bottle. Uh, this resin, I think we got it probably Home Depot or um, Lowe's, something like that, because we were doing the larger wood pieces. So I'm just using my um, leftover paint. And I started out with a brush, but then I um, decide to go with my foam the foam one and you'll see that in a little bit so i'm just going to go around with the brush to start out with and then i'll get the foam brush out i just sped this up 10 times so you wouldn't have to watch me paint in regular time Okay, so here's where I uh, switched to the foam brush. And it wasn't the round one after all. It was just one of the flatter ones. And so this is going to cover this up a whole lot better. This is the second coat of paint. And I'm just dabbing it. And it gives some texture to it also. And I just like the looks of it. So I sped this up for you. just so you can see how I go about it. So I'm just dab, dab, dabbing. And I make sure to get the inside of where those handles are.
And then I get the top edges. Here's where I get the inner edges of the handles. You don't want to skip out on that. Now I do work on the outside and this is kind of where you can see some of the the resin kind of going through the uh, or I guess that's what it is mm. the wood so um, yeah I'm just covering that up I didn't do anything to the bottom and some of the resin did seep out on the side so I cut that off with um, an exacto knife while it was still partially bendable so before it fully set up so like I said it did leak out a little bit now I'm just removing the uh, masking tape so we can see what our tray looks like. And, and it's still wet, so I haven't dried it yet. So I'm trying to be careful there not to mess up the paint. And if you did get some paint on the uh, resin, you can just kind of scratch it off with your fingernail. There we go. Isn't it pretty? The first one. I'm so excited. So right there it is. My finished product. Looks so beautiful. Like I said, I'm going to put it in my bathroom between the two sinks and then we'll just put all of our stuff that's sitting there on it. And again, I'm Liz with Liz's Crafts, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, would you think about doing so? I would appreciate it. And uh, if you like what you see here, give me a thumbs up. And if you think other people might like to see these crafts, then please feel free to share my videos. I'll see you in the next one.